Hello fellow duelists and collectors. As you read in the title, this is the best opening ever and totally not clickbait. Now let's have a one to three minute opening dialogue before I open any of this because isn't that what you really want before your opening video? Just dialogue going on and on. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell before you even know if I have a channel worth watching. Okay? Uh, this stuff was sent to me by Konami and then Shonen Jump, of course because they think I'm amazing with all seven of my subscribers. So because I'm better than you, they wanted me to have this stuff. Or maybe I spent $100 on this stuff, which is a good price, totally affordable, and not unrealistic for you viewers at home, right? So let's get, uh, let's get into it. We'll start with the, the deck, because uh, don't you want something uninteresting and Simple to start out your video. You know, take up a little more runtime. Sort of just, you know, use the time efficiently. Oh, geez. Yeah, let's, let's get into this. Yeah, I'm so good at opening things, just like every other Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber. We just have like, I don't know, we just have like skills with these things, like, like street smarts. We're definitely not impaired when it comes to, you know, basic skills. All right, look at that. Hey, hey, yeah, let's let's waste a little extra time, right? Let's let's show you the mat that it comes with because you've never seen one of these, right? Never ever. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, we'll we'll show you that just because you know why not? Definitely not just to take more runtime. Oh, oh, having trouble. Technical difficulties. Wow, yeah, look at that. It's it's a play mat. Holy heck. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, there's more time we can use. There's a guide that tells you about the game. How revolutionary. Whoo! All right. Now, we all know how to open these really, really well, I'm sure. No one ever has trouble. They're just so easy to open. Konami doesn't make it difficult. They're really, really caring about you getting your cards. Jeez. Not a process at all. So, so good. Okay, Cybers White Hat, Transcode Talker, Widget Kid, Sign It Recovery, Penstag, Leotron, Text Changer, Bitron, Two Ram, uh, oh no, just one Ram Cloud. Link Slayer, Backup Secretary, Launching Commander, Client, Bit Trooper, Flamebell Guard, Beast King Barbaro, Cyber Dragon, Xerion Universe, Evil Swarm, Mandragora, Marshmallow, Raiko, Battle Fader, Swift Scarecrow, Sinet Universe, Scapegoat, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Mystical Space Typhoon, Book of Moon, United We Stand, Card Trader, Burden of the Mighty, Ego Boost, Supply Squad, Sign it, Regression, Shadow Spell, Call, The Haunted Mirror, Force, Torrential Tribute, Bottomless Trap Hole, Zero Gravity, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Decode Talker, Link Spider, and Link Karibo. So, I mean, the main cards you want, I guess, are these. But this is a good deck. It's a good deck. I, especially if you can get it for like $8 online, I guess I'd recommend it. Right? Because I'll recommend anything to you to buy more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Then, uh, let's get into the, the card from Shonen Jump. I know you're aching to see that. Let's see. I'm so prestigious. Let's see what Shonen Jump sent me. Oh, and this is my, my very epic knife because all YouTubers need epic knives to open stuff with, right? That's, that's our thing. Get a knife that could like kill small animals and use it to open boxes and letters and stuff. Wow, it almost just fell out. Oh, look at that. Chaos Emperor Dragon in its glory. You know, I have a feeling this will come off the ban list soon. Otherwise, why would Shonen Jump send it to me? They just want me to suffer? I don't think so. They love me too much for that. So, you know, actually, you know what? Oh, what am I thinking, guys? Not putting stuff in the frame. <laughs> what am I, a noob? I guess. I'm not as good as those other Yu Gi Oh! YouTubers. Who are definitely better than me and not in any way equal. All right, Legendary Collection 2. So here's the thing. 
Mr. Simply Not Lucky, or whatever. He's got nothing on me. My bad luck puts him to shame, okay? So, let's see how bad these can be. Again, us Yu-Gi-Oh players with our intense coordination with opening things. Just, it's, no one beats us. We have too many skills. Too many. Gee, I wonder what this pack is. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, five packs. And then it comes with this field. In fact, this field's the reason I actually wanted this product. I mean, the reason Konami sent it to me, of course, because they sent it to me. Gotta show you, it's not taking up more time, it's just showing you because it's cool, all right? So that's it. It has a different material on this side too, so it's actually better for playing with. All right, now, we'll start with this because I'm sure you've never seen what's inside this pack, right? And this isn't just to, you know, use more time or anything. You actually haven't seen what's in this pack. I know you haven't, because why else would you watch this video? All right, Raphael, Uriah, and Haman. The Lords, keep them up in the corner. Then we have Dark Lord Asmodeus, Dark Lord Superbia, Dark Lord Ida Air, Cyber Larva, Lion Alligator, Spawn Alligator, Elemental Hero Great Tornado, Parallel World Fusion, Dragonic Tactics, and Court of Justice. Some nice promos, I guess. I honestly don't know. Oh jeez. That was That was totally planned, guys. Don't don't even don't even worry. Why am I oh my gosh, this is it's just plastic. Like, come on. Oh. Okay. I'm so lacking in basic skills. Okay. We got Avion. Return of the Six Samurai. Ooh. We have Phoenix Enforcer, which... Hold on. Hold on. Is a good card to get, guys. Woo! Yeah. Definitely good. I'm going to put that over there. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Aren't I so lucky? Oh, baby. This card's so valuable. I'm such a lucky person. Do you envy me yet? Do you, do you wish that you were me because you wish you pulled this card yet? No? Okay, well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so lucky, guys. I should sleeve it up, right? Because, you know, instantly, I don't care much about it, and I'll sell it as soon as the video's over. Over, Just like, you know, because that's what you do, right? Yu-Gi-Oh videos. And Defensive Tactics, and then Swift Strike Armor, Crystal Regeki, Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger, and Transcendent Wings. We'll do this. We'll do this for you guys, because, you know, you gotta, you gotta have the shiny cards on top, right? You gotta. You gotta. One sec. Yeah, so Gallius is worth, uh, you know, he's worth $15. Um, it's totally not $10. I'm definitely not boosting the price to make it seem like I'm luckier than I am. So, yeah. yeah lucky me, right? All right, we got Thunder Giant. Another Avion. Amber Mammoth. Woodsman. Hey. Not that good of a card to get. Okay. Destiny Hero Disc Commander. Uh-huh. This card is worth $5 for sure. Definitely not $4. It's totally $5. And then Crystal Release, which is not very good. First Return, Feather Wind, Space Gift. Look at that. Gotta have the shiny cards up top, guys. You gotta see those. You gotta see them. You gotta see all the progress, all the success that I've had that you haven't had. Definitely. Okay. Because that's, that's what this is about, you know? Showing you my success, making you feel bad that you don't have this success. 
Doom Lord, Heated Heart, Six Samurai, Yariza, DD Crow. We got a Secret Rare Cyber End Dragon. That's not that great, but it's worth $5. Look at that. And then we got a Rainbow Dragon, which, hold on. That's a good card to get. <laughs> so we'll put those right there. And then we have a Gladiator's Return. You know, Space and Flare Scarab and Six Samurai, come on. Come on. All right. All right, Hero Mask. Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Is this like good to get? Or am I just, nope, yeah, whatever. Okay, Rainbow Gravity. We got Lightning Golem, hold the phone. Not that great, not that great. Test Tiger, wow, um, could, it, could I get a more depressing soup, secret rare? Oh, Lumina, oh, dope, I, you know, I love Light Swords, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. Might as well throw all these out there, you know. And Gladiator Beast for Spite, and then Fusion Recovery and Over Soul. Right, okay. Don't you like don't you like this messy kind of setup? Don't you like it? You wouldn't you wouldn't happen to like it like, I don't know, like, you know, orderly in any way. I know you like messy. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to yourself, more importantly. I know you like it. Okay. Messy is what we got on this channel. We like the dirt. We like the mess. All right. Last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with Exodia? I think we can. I think that the heart of the cards is guiding me rather than just random card distribution. I'm pretty sure it's the heart of the cards. There's a special force in the universe and it cares about me specifically. I'm special. Do you, do you believe I'm special yet? All right, Light of Redemption, Hero Counterattack, Destiny Hero Dogma, Gladiator Beast Mermillo, and Miracle Fusion. Now hold the phone, guys. Hold the phone. Miracle Fusion's a good card to get. So, uh, do you have any idea how amazing this card is? I'm so aware of the greatness of this card that I can't control my speech pattern or excitement. That's a great card. Do you guys have any idea how great this card is? Definitely not just being annoying. Elemental Hero Knosp, Grandmaster of the Six Samurai, Gateway of the Six Samurai, and another Fusion Recovery. All right. Aren't I the lucky one? <laughs> I'm just so lucky, guys. All righty, well. Hold it, hold it. Oh, wait, why am I opening packs? Shouldn't I be playing Duel Links because somehow that's what's become of YouTube Yu-Gi-Oh now? <laughs> what a loser I am, right? Oh gosh, anyway, now uh, you guys know the drill, whatever, blah, 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 end of the video, outro type of thing. Let me use more of your time so I can get a longer run time, potentially get more ads. I mean, guys, if I'm being serious for a sec, just for a sec, honestly, you can get these for like 20 bucks. And here's how. If you go to Target and they mislabel things, you go to the front with that thing and you say, this said it cost this much. You can check yourself. And then they fix the price for you. So that way you get it for cheaper. Anyway, just a tidbit of advice. I recommend trying to work the system. If you're not rich like all these crazy other Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers and you just have a little money, you know, you can make it work, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. I actually do appreciate it. Hopefully you found it entertaining. I'll see you guys again. Bye.